<laughs> more than ever, more than ever, more than ever, I'll be more, I'll be more, more, more. Oh yes, oh yes. Ooh, baby, I love the way. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie O. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Let's first. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room, okay? Bundles, the real black unicorn is back up in the building. I started a hashtag on Instagram, just a little something, you know, hashtag black girls pastel hair, and I've just been having a lot of fun. She's really cute, she's got like neon green tips, and this is just a whole mood. This is just a whole lifestyle that I'm committed to. Speaking of commitment, 6,000 votes on an Instagram poll later, it was between these products that I'm gonna try out today and the new Buxom, what are these, what are these? I wanted to review these, but the Dior glosses got way more votes, so here we are. These are the new Dior Plump Tint Shine. So today I'm gonna be trying out the full collection. I got this in PR. I did realize that on Sephora, I see 18 shades in total. For some reason, I only have 16, so in case you're wondering, is there some missing? Yes, there are. I don't have all of them, and had I known that, I would've ran a Sephora real quick and picked them up, but I just didn't realize I didn't have any. So I'm so sorry, my apologies in advance if there's one particular color that happens to be the one that I don't have and you're hoping that I try it on and I don't, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. I know you guys love my little lip demos on my channel, so I thought I would try them all on, give you guys my thoughts, and let you guys know what I think. But before I do get started, uh, you know what time, you know what time it is, okay? 60% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And you know what? I don't judge, but I'm just saying, like, subscribing is free. We're not gonna spam you out. So why not subscribe, you know? I'd love to see you be a part of the Jackie Ina family, so make sure you smash on that subscribe button. How about you subscribe if you like my new bundles? How about that? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I brought you in a little closer, so you can say hello to my little fours. Um, 18 of these shades. You guys know I love a glossy lip. I feel like right now, everybody's trying to keep up with matte liquids, so whenever I see gloss, I get excited, like I miss glosses. Let's read a little bit about what the description of this product is, because it may not even be a gloss, I don't know, I'm just kinda, just based on my observation, I could be wrong. These retail for $37 each, whew! I'm not gonna lie, even for me, you guys know I don't mind spending money on makeup, that's a lot. Like, that's expensive. I feel like for $37, the gloss should come with a new wig. But then again, it is Dior, and this is like the high end of the high end. This is like up there with the Tom Fords, you know, this is like up there with the Givenchy. Like, all of that top tier, super luxury stuff tends to all be expensive, even all the way down to their lip balms. <laughs> So I would expect nothing less from a lip lacquer. It's described as a plumping lacquered lip ink. I'll be the judge of the plumping part. That provides long wear color and an incredibly comfortable texture. Okay, so for a stain effect, swipe one layer onto lips to deepen the shade, apply the second layer, and for maximum vinyl shine, apply the third layer. I do like the idea of layering for different finishes too, just because, you know, I like stains. So the first shade that I have here is called Dior for, oh. <laughs> you nasty. This first shade is called Dior Freak, and she's giving us a really hot neon. Actually, this is a little bit more on the peachy shade. I feel like the applicator kind of like really is deceiving. Look at how the longer I wear it, it actually turns darker. Did you see what just happened? So online, Dior Freak is described as a tangy peach. Okay, so that's the first layer, and look at how Different. That's two completely different colors. Oh, 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 I see again. I see what's happening. It's getting darker. Okay, let's do the top layer. Let's do the top. Let's do the top. I'm gonna try to resist the urge of pressing my lips together because something tells me that is going to affect the color too, the final color. You know what? At first application, I thought this color was going to be too light, but now that it's really settling into it, almost is like adjusting to my skin tone. I actually really like this color. It's not as neon as it looks when you first apply it. I'm not, that is actually gorgeous. Now, $37 worth of gorgeous, I don't know yet, but I do really feel like this is a really unique color and really unique formula. Let's try a second layer. saying for $37, I'm gonna need you to apply your damn self, actually. How about that, Dior? Okay, this color is really pretty. The longer I look at this color, the more I like it. I've yet to really feel any major tingling, because I know a pumper, 
I know a plumper when I see one. This doesn't feel like the plumper. Well, I mean, I'm coming from like Too Faced lip injections era, so that's extreme. There's a little slight, there's a little slight tinglage with this product, but I don't, do you see my lips getting bigger yet? I mean, I don't know. Let's do a third layer. I don't know if I wanna do a third layer of all of them. Is this for demonstrational purposes? Why not? So after the third layer, we do get a, a significant amount of extra shine. And you know what? Like, I, I really like this color. Like, really like this color, dead ass. Okay, so there's the gloss, there's the shine. First layer was a stain, second layer was a lipstick. Well, it, it was still pretty glossy though, the second layer. And this is like, ultra shiny. Isn't it crazy how lipstick can literally like change your mood, change your swag? I was literally going into these thinking, it's just a gloss, how original could it be? Like I didn't really know much about the product and like what it was supposed to be, but this is like a really, it's a pretty unique formula. Now let's see what the other colors will do because these seem a little unpredictable. Like you don't, you never know what it's gonna look like until you put it on. This shade is Dior Pretty and it's described as a rosewood, Whatever the hell that means, I just see bubblegum pink. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, and she's juicy too. Okay, Rosewood. Next time somebody asks me, it's it's not pink. It's Rosewood. Security, get him out of here. I can't believe I can't believe you called it pink. It's Rosewood. Let's go for another layer. She was for kicks, man. Definitely. My kind of color. Oh yes, Jackie Ina approved, absolutely. This one I feel would look pretty with a liner too, like a deep pink. Just don't call it pink, it's rosewood. It's not pink, duh. It's freaking rosewood, man. The next color that I have is Dior Eve and it's described as a taupe nude. I kind of see a muted purple, so, oh. That's a cool color. That reminds me of Spite from MAC. By the way, there's really no there's a scent, but it's very light. It's almost more like a fragrance. You know how bougie them luxury brands are. They always want their own signature fragrance. Darling. Okay, I do like this color, and I feel like it's very much so coming off like my skin tone kind of nude. Like, I feel like instead of reaching for brown, I should reach for like a dark purpley taupe because this is like the best my skin tone but better nude i think i've seen a long time i like this on its own like i think this is really pretty truthfully it's coming off more like a brownish purple than it is like a taupe let's go for layer number two now i want to wear this one today because this one's really pretty too i do feel like when you press your lips together it balls up and then it kind of like disappears i wonder if this is the kind of lipstick that gets cakey after wearing it after a while do you guys remember when i did the video on these the velvet lip glides they have a kind of it's like not really a lipstick it's not really a gloss it's kind of like like a matte gloss however i've never worn a lipstick like this that kind of adjusts the way that this has so this is very unique okay i don't like to curse on my channel i will just say i freaking Love this color. I felt like it was easy to apply. It's not bleeding everywhere. I don't need a liner. I'm not even checking for a liner, girl. Liner, who was that? Okay, let's move on, shall we? They definitely do stain a little bit. I can still see the buildup of the orange right in the corner, so uh, just be mindful of that. There are five lacquers in this collection that have a glitter finish and glitterati, obviously. I feel like this color could be trouble. So let's see what it looks like swatched. It's kind of cool. Kind of looks like that unicorn. That's actually really pretty. I like that. It's a little light for my taste, but that's what these demo videos are for. You can only, hey, can't knock it till you try it. Oh, okay. Well, guess I've been fooled once again. Ooh, this is, at, ooh! <gasps> Girl, didn't I tell y'all I'd be having a new favorite every five minutes? No, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some glitter in it, hold on. They don't even look this cool on the promotional materials. I just feel like I'm slaying and killing these lip colors. Why wasn't I worn properly? Instead of hats off to you, wigs off to you, Dior. Like, I really, really like this color. This way, you see purple, you see blue, you turn your head that way, you see I wonder what these would do on top of lipsticks or like layered with other products. Like, could you put more gloss on top? So here's layer number two. Let's go for layer number three now. You know what? I actually wouldn't even be mad at this color either. Okay, so there we have Glitterati and Glitterati is absolutely stunning. 
it, it does weird things when you press your lips together though. Like when you do that, ooh, ooh, do you see that? <laughs> yeah, put the color on and keep it moving, bro. Like don't rub your lips together. Don't try to get off. That's a bad habit. Ooh, ooh, mm -mm. She gotta come off. Mm -mm. Glitter is everywhere. Oh my days. The next one's one of my favorite colors. This is Sarcasm. It's fuchsia. This one's called After Party. It's described as a raspberry pink. And you know what? This color has actually been growing on me lately. I don't know. I've just been, maybe it's just the way I've been wearing it lately. Okay, so this one is actually looking. I, this is looking red on camera. This is really weird. In person, it's definitely fuchsia. I'm, I'm a little shook at how much coverage this is providing for it to be such a sheer product. Like, I don't see, well, you can, you can kind of see my lip line on camera. A second like, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nah, Dior, you might've just did something Dior because these are actually so pretty. And you know that says a lot when this is my least favorite color and I'm wow. This is a really good applicator too, by the way. It's flat. It's flat and it's kind of wide. I like how this one gets darker as you apply it. Okay, that's enough pink. Next case! This is starting to stain. Oh no, what is you doing, baby? Oh Lord, I gotta keep moving. I predict by the time this lip swatch video is over, you'll probably see through the back of my tonsils because my lips will be non-existent. God. This is Dior Platinum. Also another very sketchy looking color. She's definitely more on the really, Woo, that's really icy. It's almost like a silver taupe. On the website, it's described as glittery silver. Two of the last things I want on my lips at the same time. But hey, all's well that ends well. The more the merrier, tomato, tomato, when in Rome. All right, Dior Platinum, don't do me dirty. Ooh, this actually matches my hair color. <laughs> so that's one layer of Dior Platinum and I'm not gonna, I, it's not, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. The inside of my lips are really kind of messing with my mind because I'm seeing the pink and the orange and like that's like my biggest, like I just hate the booty hole look. I actually really think it's a beautiful color but I think this is better as an accent color more than it is all over my lips. But of course that's what I was expecting. So I'm not gonna sit here and drag it. That's, it, it's exactly as it's described. I do feel like it could be a worse silver. Like it could be way uglier and way ashier. This may actually be plumping my lips. I'm definitely like, I don't know if it's because I'm rubbing and taking things on and off. Swatch, it's stunning. I want this on my eyes. Like this needs to be a shadow palette. Stunning color, 12 out of 10. Just not the shape. She's not that girl for me. I am gonna keep it because I definitely see myself using it. It's stunning. I, I love the shade of silver that they use, but it's just not all over my lips. That's all. Next color I have is a stunning color. It's called Starstruck. Almost like a tangerine, another glitter shade. We're still working with the glitter. Starstruck looks like, oh, kind of a raspberry, but not really. That reminds me of Kool-Aid. It like wants to be orange, but it also wants to be pink. I don't know what's going on with Starstruck. Starstruck is described as a glittery red. This is actually not one of my favorite colors. This is actually, uh, sometimes, Sometimes, not always, glittery red can be kind of cheesy and I feel like this is that cheesy. And the glitter in the gloss is red too. Maybe that's what it is that I don't like. Like I would have preferred it to be this color. It looks orange when you apply it and then it darkens down to like this deeper raspberry shade. I'm not feeling a ton of tingle anymore, but I definitely feel like my lips look like more full. Yeah, I tried to give Starstruck more layers, give it more of a chance. Meh. This color's me. But uh, the red on red sparkle just looks a little, uh, looks a little cheesy to me, man. I'm kind of sad. They didn't give me Dior Glitz and I actually would have taken that one over this one. This is the last glitter shade that I have. It's a glittery fuchsia color. It's called Disco Dior. And the one that I don't have in this collection was more of a coral and obviously I'll take a coral over fuchsia any day, but it's cool. We're gonna give it a shot anyway. This one's actually not that bad. Like if you really need like a Barbie hot pink, go for this color. This one I feel stays more fuchsia than After Party did. The pink in After Party turns into more of a red. This is like, no, actually I'm lying. This was actually more of a dark purple, a glittery purple. And I like this color, but I feel like I can live without it. And FYI, the less layers you put on, the more comfortable it is. Um, I feel like 
when it was doing that weird goopy thing, it's because I've been layering it on and layering it on and layering it on, you know? One layer is actually fine. It doesn't ball up and do that weird, sticky, crumbly thing. It would not be improper. Jackie, I'd have list watch video if we didn't switch the hell up. You know, when you're just like, well, it looks cute on me, but like I wouldn't wear it. That's totally what I'm what I'm experiencing right now. And thank the Lord we are done with glitter. Do you see my do you see what the state of my lips right now? Definitely on my teeth. It's, it's in there. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. Definitely in my teeth. No more pinks. This is called Dior Fever. <laughs> you can see I'm fed up with fever. It looks like this. It's another hot blue pink. So here is Fever. It's actually, it's not a bad color. I don't, I don't, I, I might, I might fools with it just a little bit. But you know, also I think I like it with this makeup look and it almost, dare I say, looks a little bit purple. This is two layers by the way. Okay, so this is a dark purple and it's called Midnighter. Don't see it on the Sephora website. Don't know why, but uh, oh, she's dark. Oh, she's deep, girl. Whoa. Did you see all that pigmentation with one swipe? This is one layer. It completely covers the center of my lips. There's no pink. So Midnighter, I would actually describe as like a blackened purple blue. Definitely my kind of color with like some sharp, nothing on the eyes with like a sharp wing vinyl liner and this lip color, matte pink on the cheeks, just bomb. No, this color I can do. Oh yes, oh <laughs> yes. Let me hurry up and take it off before my lips are permanently blackened though. It looks so good. Whew, it's staining, it's staining. Even the stain is stunning. You can throw another gloss on top. Okay, on to more brighter colors. This is called Dior Pulse. Definitely a hot, bright orange. Ooh, yes. Ooh! This is described as an orangey red. Please excuse my stained lips. Dior Pulse is very juicy, very kind of like candy apple red, but I'm starting to feel like with the orange colors, if you buy one, you got them all, you know, like they're all, at least on me, they all relatively kind of look very close in shade. And in my opinion, they give kind of the same vibe, the same look and feel. I wouldn't run out and buy all of the oranges. Getting Aaliyah vibes in this lip color. Definitely more than a woman, you know, like 90s baggy Tommy Hilfiger, crop tops, baggy pants, the whole nine yards. Okay, the next color is called Lovely D. Hmm, wonder what that means. Oh, Dior, of course. So this one is a, ooh, that's kind of cute. But this is Lovely D, Lovely D, Lovely D, Lovely D. Looks like it'll really match today's makeup look. Lovely D is described on the Sephora website as a rosy nude. I can't tell if this to me actually looks more peachy than it does rosy, but I like the color a lot. This is definitely my kind of color. Like I said, now that I put more on, I, it looks a little bit more peachy to me, like a peachy pink. I can never say no to nudes. That's just not in my DNA. And I think she's very cute with my rose gold Mickey Mouse ears. I, I think she's actually very cute for this whole look. Ooh, baby, I love the way. Yeah. If I could just keep the colors off my teeth, that'd be wonderful. That's not what I signed up for when I got Invisalign. She's not at all, but nonetheless, she very much so has a place in my heart. Yes, you be in my heart. Yes, you be in my heart. No matter where you go, I don't know the lyrics. So I'm just making stuff up. All right, moving forward. This is Dance Floor, looking very neon, very coral. Reminds me a lot of the first one we tried on. Ooh. That's beautiful. I love this one because this one actually looks a little bit more pink. I like her. I like all the neons so far. Like, could you stop slaying for the kids or no? Like, are you ever gonna ease up with these neons, Dior? I just have questions. This next shade is probably the second darkest in the collection. Yes, I'm doing the absolute most by doing it before I do the last shade. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not do that actually. This one is 
Jadior. Jadior. I guess play on words there. <laughs> see what you did there. Jadior is this, ooh, that's stunning. It's described as a bold red. Okay, that's pretty. The only thing is I feel like we've seen a red like this before. I love a juicy, like blood red. I think it looks really pretty. It's a little dark too. Like it kind of darkens into a little bit of a more vampy or ombre look. It's juicy, it's plump, it's deep and dark. She needs a beret. She's definitely giving you some wee wee jardier. This is hot. And the more that I wear it, the longer I wear it, the more I like it, as with most of the other colors anyway. And last, but most certainly not least, we have what looks like to me the second darkest color in the collection. It's called De, fan de fancy? It's called the fancy, but I'm just saying de fancy, just cause I can. And the fancy looks like a, they call this a bold chocolate. I see a little bit of red. There's definitely some brown in there for sure. Ooh, this is actually kind of cute. I'm curious what made them want to call this one the fancy. That was one layer. Let's double. There's something really, oh yes. Oh yes. There's something really sexy about like a deep blackened, but also glossy bold lip and this is just all of what she's giving me. Definitely love this color. I think it was a great way to end off the lip swatch video. Now like, let's just see if I can get it off. Let's just see if I can get it off. Okay, I'm finishing off with Glitterati. I literally had to go in the bathroom and like put oil on my lips and then take face wash and wash it off. This one is my favorite color from the collection and I really wanted to end the video with it on so there's that. I'm curious if these will react the same way glosses do when hair gets in them. So they're not, they're not as sticky as gloss, but they're definitely sticky. So final thoughts on the Dior Lacquer Plump is I would definitely recommend them. I lived for all of the, the neon shades. All of them were stunning and I felt like they were close enough to where I was comfortable in them, but also different enough to where they look like two different colors. Overall, my favorites, again, were Glitterati. I also love Dior Eve, you know, the lavender nude taupe one that we tried on earlier. Je Dior was absolutely stunning, beautiful, deep red. Some of the colors, however, <laughs> You know it's serious when you're taking off the mouse ears. Some of the colors I felt, however, if you have one, you have them all. D Fancy and Midnighter were like absolute must haves. If you are budgeting and if you feel like $37 is just like, girl, buy, then don't buy it. I mean, it's, it's very simple. You know, Dior is obviously a bougier price market and some people can't justify $37 for certain products. I don't blame you. I absolutely don't blame you. I'm not sure if these are compatible with other lip products because I haven't tested them yet, but I will. And I'll see if maybe I can get like the finish of the stain without as much of the goopiness and stickiness of when you layer them up. Those are my thoughts on Dior's newest lip product. What do you guys think? Did you have any? Oh, hell no, girl. Take that the hell off. Move along, unsubscribed. In the meantime, I'm just gonna put the next video right here. Oh, while I eat my Hershey's Kiss. Feel free to click it. That's why it's, that's why it's there, ladies and gentlemen. That's why it's there.